everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Lily with San Antonio Water System and I am here with Mark Peterson from our conservation department who is gonna take us through some interesting ways to use ordinary herbs. Uh, most of us might have some of these herbs growing in our garden or in containers at home. Um, I am the mother of two small children, two girls, and I'm always a little hesitant to use chemicals on them for any reason, repellent or as a medication. Mm -hmm. So uh, Mark has some really great ideas that he's gonna share with us. I, I might be his uh, assistant as needed, but I am gonna step out of the frame uh, to let him get going. Before I do that, I'm gonna remind you oh. to swipe and share um, and let everyone know that we're on and anyone else who might be interested. We're only on Periscope this morning live, but we will share the link on our Facebook page as well. So Mark, it's all yours. Well, thank you, Lily. We have uh, an opportunity for you uh, today to get some really natural products in your gardens that are not only drought tolerant, but really can be used for not only food purposes, but also to prevent those nasty mosquitoes. And here in San Antonio, we had a lot of rain this spring. Not so much now, but we had a lot of rain and we had problems with mosquitoes. Now, this is a common product. We won't use it. We'll look at this. It has a product called DEET. Very effective. But a lot of people are worried about that, uh, some of the effects, particularly in children. So we have some wonderful options for you to plant in your garden or in containers. And I'm going to show you about the container a little bit later. Right here, we have a product, a plant, product, plant. We have a plant called lemon balm. Now, Lily, you're going to come over here, back over here, and you're going to tell me how delightful this is. We, you can just, people, you can just rub, <laughs> take the leaves, and, and feel it. And feel, feel, it feels kind of moist in it mm -hmm. in a little bit. Okay, yeah. now we're going to rub it on your arm. We do it just like a tester. Mm -hmm. Just like, hey, like sax. a little tester. <laughs> yeah, this is sax. It's, sax. it's not sauce, it's sax. <laughs> okay, smell. Yeah, very lemony. Very lemony. It's really pleasant, actually. And what we're talking about is you put this in your, on your arm, and it prevents the mosquitoes from coming at you. And it makes you smell very nice, very lemony. So we have that lemon balm. And then Lily was asking about this. This is lemongrass. The same little thing. Now I have my little, te my look, my little knife here. <laughs> and you crush this up. Now we use the yeah. other arm for the <laughs> other <laughs> tester. And so this one's a little bit rough. That's what I want. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is even more lemony. Yeah. Wow. I'm ready for some Vietnamese. <laughs> well, this is good. So, uh, so some of the other ones we have the lemon ones. I wanted to test her because because she's so sweet. So we had to give her a little, little bit. This right here is lavender. Everyone knows lavender. And here again, we crush this up in our hands. Put this in your hand. This this one just we'll just have to smell. I can, I can smell it. Now, you can smell it all the way over here. Yeah. Does that, do you also rub the lavender? You can rub it on this one. I'm going to leave these two to the end because they're really unique. Yes. Uh, we have here, we have the rosemary. I don't even have to be yeah, cut out. We can smell it. it over here. And then this one is, I want to get, want you to guess this one. Whoops. Let's see. The tester. Yeah, it's the is that mint? or That is That is peppermint. Peppermint. It's and lovely. Well, what, uh, what we, you can do on these is just what we did. Okay. Just rub it on your arms whenever you go in the garden. Okay. Or you plant these around the garden. And they'll do it naturally, passively, exude their oils. Or you can... Now, unfortunately, I broke this this morning, people. <laughs> so it won't be really spraying me. It won't be spraying <laughs> you. So what, did you, what did you do? What did you put in here? This one, uh, I just put a little essence of, of, of uh, basil in here, and it's not really working out too well. So just some drops, oil. We buy the basil oil. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I want to tell you. Now, I also I didn't have a mocajete or a uh, my, my, uh, mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle to make my uh, uh, mojitos. <laughs> uh, so I just had my little glass here. But what you do? Uh, on the basil, and we didn't have any basil here in San Antonio. There's no basil around. Huh. No, it, it was amazing. Uh, no, I went to <laughs> call. I have some in my yard. You I, have asked me. <laughs> I, I, I called several, several nurseries in it. You put about a cup of heaping, heaping cup of basil leaves, basil, okay. ten drops of basil oil, okay, 
equal parts of water and alcohol. Okay. And you put the you uh, you boil the water and put it in, and then oh, wait, you don't you, simmer. You actually let it bring, come up to a boil. Come up to a boil, and then you run it over the leaves. Okay. Add your drops. Okay. Wait. Let it steep for okay. three hours. Three hours. Three hours. <laughs> Uh, Masa mayo, so a little bit on that, and then you put the uh, alcohol in. Now the recipe I read said vodka. Uh, well, it, it is alcohol. You could drink this product. <laughs> it is alcohol. I'm a Tito's man myself, but anyway. And then you, and then, and then it's a little spritzer. Okay. And you just spray it all over you. That's with basil. You can actually use the same thing for, for any, any, of any of them. Some of them work better with just water. Some of them work better with alcohol and water on that. But you just like this, yeah. And then the kids are running around and just you know spraying, spraying spray as they go down on that. So that is a very easy, and you can find that recipe on our website, which also has the article that of all the plants I'm talking about at www.gardenstylesa.com. Yep. So it's this week. It's a great article on that. So uh, the other things I want to just talk about real briefly is this one. This That's is geranium. Close. Oh, what is it? Citronella. Oh. So this is the actual plant, and yes, uh, the research is a little iffy on it, but it does smell a little orangey, a little citrus. Little orangey. Oh, we have a question. Yeah. All right. What about uh, rosemary and lavender? Are there, are there any uses for that? Yes. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. I'm just going to cut a little branch here off this. Now, this is a little rosemary. You can use this in culinary on your rosemary, roasted rosemary, ro 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 rosemary chicken, yeah. chicken and <laughs> potatoes. Or right, you can take this all off and use it as a skewer oh. for vegetables or meat. Okay. This is the best one I like. And this goes with the topic of what we're talking about today with mosquitoes. So after you've done all your cooking, right, and you got all those coals sitting there, you don't know what to do with them, right? You Throw put some rosemary right on, there, on top huh? of it. It will mist up in the air. It will infuse the air with rosemary. And rosemary mist aroma is abhorrent to mosquitoes. They don't like it. So there you go. So once you got, you're done with feet, just throw some rosemary right on there. It'll infuse the air just like it's doing now. Or maybe you can set like a little grill on the side with some rosemary that smokes while you're in yeah. the outside. Yeah, my hibachi broke, so I couldn't bring my hibachi. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have shown that and demonstrated that. We could have demonstrated the yeah. hibachi grill yeah. right here. On that. So I that's a great really question. Good. I really love that question. Again, for anybody who didn't hear this, what uh, uses uh, of rosemary? Uh, we have it. We can use it for culinary reasons, and we also can use it for uh, keeping away the mosquitoes. Can Not only just plant it. Thing with the lavender. Yes, and I was gonna. I was actually gonna cut some of the lavender. Yeah. I did cut the lavender, yeah. but uh, the lavender and the rose and the rosemary can be used together. On that, because rosemary uh, or lavender is so potent, mm -hmm. you smell it all the way over yeah. here that uh, uh, you can use that together in the same type of thing. And of course, uh, the wonderful uses of lavender, sachets, and things like that, so you can just use it. But just a little bit on the grill makes a wonderful, and it's just, it's a wonderful use of those coals. They're just, <laughs> they're just a little warm in that So one. I'm going to take you back to the citronella. Yes. You were, you were about to start telling us research is a little iffy. It is a little but. iffy on that. A lot of people swear on it. Uh -huh. but, uh, so if you like to plant this uh, near the doorsteps or around the patio, you can. Also, it's the same thing. Like, just like you said, you can tell it's not as intense, mm -hmm. but you can smell a little, a little citrus. This is my mortal and pe yeah. my, 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 my physical mortal, mortar mortar and pe pestle. There you go. All right. So, is this rue? What do you oh, mean? you got it. <laughs> that is rue. And how did you know? Well, I actually used to have some of this growing in my mom's backyard. So Bingo. I remember seeing it when I was growing up. There you go. It is a very important um, medicinal and culinary or, or uh, more medicinal than anything else. But this is very important in the Hispanic Latino culture. Absolutely, it is yeah. from uh, uh, Southern Mediterranean. It was brought to other places in Europe by the Romans. So, but it is very, very important. On that. So yes, it is rue. There you go. Rue. Rue um, is, uh, you would break it's this pretty, down. Pretty 
pretty strong. It is pretty strong, yeah. So uh, you can use it for insects. Okay. Uh, but uh, also you would, in this one, uh -huh. when you muddle it or use a mocajete on it, you would use just water. Okay. It works better than water and alcohol. Okay, so, so that's, that's why. Just water, yeah, it's just water, water on okay. that one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty, so I it's, can smell it when you're uh, crushing it. Yeah, <laughs> it's very important on that. Been but a good, like, scratch and sniff type. This is a scratch and sniff on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not so much. We'll go back to the lemongrass on this one. But smell. that's a great great call. That's why I said I wanted to put it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See how many people <laughs> in San Antonio actually knew it. But And I didn't even have to pay you on that you one. Did it. Yeah, it was wasn't great. <laughs> so, and, and then we had the peppermint. But a lot of these things, I chose these things not only because they're in the article, again, mm -hmm. www.gardenstylesa.com, but also because uh, they are so, so wonderful in our local landscapes. So, so, one of the things that I struggle with on a regular basis is I love, like, I have rosemary and I have lavender. Mm -hmm. But I sometimes think that maybe I'm planting the wrong types of plants together when yeah. I'm doing the wrong thing because my my rosemary will survive, but I'll kill the lavender or I'll, you know, so what, how well, should we incorporate this? Like if I that, that, is a, that is a great question. Thank you on that. Uh, this is peppermint. Now, this is normally more of a cool weather mm -hmm. uh, along with the spearmint. Okay. So it takes a little bit more water. Okay. So you don't want to... Put it in the same, in the same one. The rosemary, for but <laughs> on the other hand, you can basically put all these together. Okay. These are all very xeric plants. Okay. Rosemary is going to be the most xeric. Right. Lavender will be xeric, but it requires very well drained soil. So you can see that all that. So you see this up in the hill country on very slopes and things like okay. that. So you can put them together. That's not a problem. Um, we like to put something fleshy like this mm -hmm. with maybe also lemon balm or also then with the peppermint. So we've got some height yeah. and space. And right. What kind of soil do you recommend? Re this, this what I have right here. And Ethan, you may want to just take a look. A can, can you close on this? <laughs> um, this is a cactus. I bought this one. This okay. is a cactus <laughs> blend. The cactus oil. mix. So that's what you want. You want well-drained soil. And it's in a terracotta pot. It's a which also lets it breathe and, which it breathe and and it works for herbs. Yeah, it's beautiful herbs. Put this on the patio. You have the herbs. You can just go out with your little scissors and and snip off whatever you need on that. Right. Also, as you go on the patio, again, what we're talking about mosquito repellents today, you just rub it on your arm. This is beautiful. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, this is a purchased one. However, you can make your own. Not a problem. It's very easy to, to make. We want sphagnum moss. You know, sphagnum is the long peat moss. Okay. Like that. We have that. We chop that up a little bit. Okay. And this is an equal parts. So equal part of sphagnum moss, equal part of sand. I like petite sand, the red sand. For okay. those around here, it's an acidic sand. Good so it's really good. Good for strawberries. <laughs> Or you can use a builder sand, okay. and that's the white one. Yeah. And then, and then perlite. <laughs> and and this is per, perlite was this white stuff in there. Okay. And it's very inert and doesn't have a lot of nutrition. What does the perlite do? Hold some of the water? Yes, it holds a little bit of water, but it's very inert and it and it gives consistency. Okay. Without providing weight. So that's the perlite. Yeah, that's perlite. Yeah. So so that is an excellent little mix. Just one third, one third, and one the third. Herbs would really and like the that herbs will really love it. It's one, it's, it has uh, some good acidity, mm -hmm. but not too much. Uh, and then uh, it is has. That, um, is that recipe for the for the soil on the article? Because if it's not, we it can share it on the Facebook. Page. It's not. It okay. is Mark's special recipe. Okay, so we'll give you Mark's special recipe on our Facebook post with the link to this Periscope, mm -hmm. and uh, you can ask more questions there if you'd like. Right. Do we have any other questions, Ethan? No. All right. Did we cover pretty much everything? We covered the only other thing I wanted to talk about mm -hmm. was, now this is from a very famous company. It has a guy who has a little sailor's cap, and, okay. and I won't, won't mention name. Okay. But this is uh, uh, more of an oil. Okay. Uh, you can rub it on. This one happens to be mugwort and yarrow. But we can make any one of these um, plants here. Uh-huh. Uh, and make more of a moisturizing oil with this. Okay. This happens to be apricot and olive oil. Okay. 
A lot of them work with olive oil, mm -hmm. where you just ground them up in your mocajete yeah. or your mortar and pestle, like ground it up, uh, use a little bit of water, use a little bit of alcohol, and then put them in a oil base like apricot okay. and olive so oil. Instead of spritzing, you just kind you of just wa water, water it, and then it gets that extra moisturizing aid. This one also has vitamin E in it. Okay. Yeah. So lots of ways to use Lots of different plants. ways of using these plants. Uh, we highly encourage them. They're wonderful aesthetic plants, very drought tolerant, but also provide a lot of culinary yeah. and medicinal properties. And it's to a very active way. I think a lot of times, in my case, I have some of these planted by my door thinking they're going to keep the mosquitoes away and they're not going to come in. But really, if I'm not, if I'm not actively touching them and That's getting right. their oils to come out somehow, it might not be functioning as well. Well, is it? yeah, they all provide <laughs> passive mosquito yeah. repellent, uh -huh. but it, uh, it works the best if you, you actively, actively cut it. And, Mush them up and put them on your skin. And it's so easy. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you have any other questions, post them. Um, we will give you the recipe for the soil, and we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next Thursday.